CO2 has just reached over 400 parts per million. If the world wants a chance to avoid the worst impacts of impending climate change, it needs to address one of the most destructive greenhouse gases, HFC 23. HFC 23 is 14,800 times more damaging to the climate than carbon dioxide. The world realized the scope of the damage HFC 23 emissions could cause and under a UN climate convention program called the Clean Development Mechanism, or CDM, incinerators for HFC 23 destruction were installed at 19 refrigerant facilities in China, India, South Korea, Argentina, and Mexico to help control this super greenhouse gas. Unfortunately, these 19 CDM plants scandalously manipulated the system and received billions of dollars in windfall profits from the sale of the carbon credits. So in May of 2013, HFC 23 destruction credits were prohibited from the world's largest carbon market, the European Emissions Trading Scheme. Carbon markets in New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and California have also announced that they will not allow the use of HFC 23 offsets. With HCFC 22 plants unable to continue receiving windfall profits, the Environmental Investigation Agency conducted an investigation to establish whether certain facilities in China and India have been releasing HFC 23 into the atmosphere, despite the availability of disposal technology. <laughs> Interviews recorded by EIA investigators support prior scientific studies indicating that the 17 production lines in China not covered by the CDM have been releasing the equivalent of 143 million tons of CO2 equivalent each year, making them some of the largest point source emitters of greenhouse gases in the world. Even more alarming, EIA investigators learned that, without continued windfall profits from the CDM, most of the plants in China covered by the CDM are poised to join the non-CDM plants inventing their HFC 23. Likewise, there are strong indications that Indian CDM plants will also begin venting their HFC 23. If all these plants previously receiving billions of dollars under the CDM join China's non-CDM facilities and vent their HFC 23, they will set off a climate bomb emitting over 2 billion tons of CO2 equivalent emissions by 2020. All of the CDM plants in Mexico, Argentina, and South Korea, as well as the joint implementation HFC destruction plants in Russia, face the same economic realities with the loss of their HFC 23 bonanza, and may vent, as none of these countries have regulations prohibiting such actions. Countries cannot stand by and let this massive increase in greenhouse gas emissions occur. Cost-effective technology to destroy HFC 23 is readily available and already installed in most of these facilities. Every country must ensure the destruction of all HFC 23 emissions. There are no more excuses.